0730 means 0730, cadet. Sit down. First, the captain wanted me to convey his regrets for not being here himself. As I'm sure you've heard, Starfleet is amassing an armada in Sector 001 to defend against the latest Borg incursion. We, or rather our ship, is on her way to join them. Starfleet has successfully defeated the Borg twice before, and we have every expectation of successfully stopping them now. However, given the probability of armed conflict, the captain has ordered that all non-essential personnel, including visiting Starfleet cadets, be transferred off the ship to a safer venue at the medical research facility on Marnus 3. Please have your gear packed and be at Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Dismissed. Cadet Furlong. A moment, please. The captain has denied your request to stay on board, Cadet. I'm sorry. The massacre 10 years ago at Wolf 359 was a great tragedy for the Federation. I was only one year out of the academy when it happened. A lot of my classmates died there. Now, each year I get older and they stay the same. I understand your need for justice. I'm sorry. Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. father was killed nine ten years old and you're still not over it perhaps I should introduce myself I imagine you've heard of me though Q it's short for Q it was I you know who introduced Picard to the Borg and it's because of me that ten years ago the Borg came to Wolf 359 and found that fleet of ships and found your father and killed them all at 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359 the USS righteous such a noble name righteous was hit by an unknown Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. Vaporized. Whew. No trace. Nothing to bury, nothing to mourn. The Borg took it all away from you in an instant. I understand your desire for justice. They don't, though, do they? But I do. You want action. You want to avenge your father's death. You want to kill Borg. What sentient. Yet still barbaric, bipedal hominid wouldn't. You can run away with the others like a scared trog, or you can come with me, cadet. The choice is yours. Excellent choice, monsieur. Keep the phaser, you're going to need it. And take this too. Be careful now, don't lose it. I only made one. Time! Oh, 0758, sir. Keep those phases firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Armed and ready, Captain. Have a look. I can't see you. Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. 
Initiating Delta attack, sir. I'm reading a small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding fine, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn, they've adjusted their shields already. Why is it always the difficult species that are the most adaptable? The Borg adapt their environment to suit their needs. True adaptability involves changing oneself to suit their environment. I'm so glad you cleared that up. Recognize this place? You should. You keep a picture of it on your wall. The bridge of the USS Righteous. Your father's ship. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. This is him, isn't it? Well, I can see the family resemblance. I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Melbourne and Saratoga have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne. Recognize the name? Do you know where you are, cadet? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console now. Uh, that's right, 10 years ago, Wolf 359. Security! Look at him. He's barely older than you are. He shouldn't be in security. But four hours ago, the real security officer, Lieutenant Sprint, was killed. And this first year, Ensign had to take his place. And because of his inexperience, everybody on board, including your father, will be killed. The phases are useless. Just isolate the panel now. If Lieutenant Sprint were still alive, he might be able to save the ship. But he's been dead for four hours. No wonder they don't want him on the bridge. Come on, can't you move faster? <laughs> Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Thaddeus Quint. He actually tried to save Sprint's life, but as you can see, he failed the old goat. <laughs> well, what you expect? He's a doctor, not a security officer. Still, if he had only had a little more creativity. But he didn't. He's bypassed the security lockout. <laughs> Dead. Shield mutation is shifting on its own. Shields are dropping. Uh-oh. I need shields back up now. Death in battle. If it were a Klingon, he'd be ecstatic. Ooh, I like this guy. Captain, there's a type beam transmission going directly to the board queue. Computer is uploading data about emergency transporters. Anyone near Jeffrey 6, we need manual power rerouted through the secondary couplings. It's too late. The board queue is firing. Invasive maneuvers. So, now that you've seen your father die, are you ready to avenge his death? Or would you like to try something different? How about a chance to prevent his death? Lieutenant Sprint was killed four hours before the Righteous even got to Wolf 359. But if the good Dr. Quint had been able to save Sprint four hours before, then Sprint would have been able to save the righteous, and you would have grown up in the loving company of your father, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. What say we give the old goat a second chance to save Sprint's life? You're not afraid of a little space-time continuum meddling, are you, cadet? No, I thought not. Shall we? This is Lieutenant Sprint. Do you think he knows he's gonna die? I don't think so. Don't bother saying hello. Just makes saying goodbye that much harder. Time, Mr. Furlong. Oh, 400 hours, sir. The queue within sensor range yet? Coming up now, Captain. Match speed. Stay with it. Setting a pursuit course. Shields up. Intruder alert. Sprint, look out! Shall we dance? Sprint, make a choice. <laughs> Quint wasn't clever enough to think of it. Good thing I am. The board cube is pulling ahead. It's ignoring us completely. Match speed. Keep us within close range. Remember, Sprint should have died right here. Everything you do in his place from this moment on changes history. Invigorating, isn't it? Meddling with fate. Lieutenant, are you all right? Sprint? <laughs> He's an ox. Nothing scares him. And nothing hurts him. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? <laughs> there are all kinds of pain, Lieutenant. Don't let the fact that you are Bajani prevent you from acknowledging the hurt. Oh, please. Captain? 
coded message coming in from Admiral Hansen. He's ordering us to proceed with all speed to rendezvous with the rest of the fleet at Wolf 359, requesting us not to engage the Borg. Until then, maintain radio silence until contacted. Helm land a course for Wolf 359. Pull ahead of the Borg cube and then match speed. Aye, sir. ETA at current speed, four hours, five minutes. Good. We don't want them to get there before we do. And Targus, get that thing off my bridge. Yes, sir. Definitely dead this time. Then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Good shooting. How about quick thinking, Quinn? Good work, Quinn. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes, or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> she kissed me. What are you staring at? Oh, of course, your father. This must be strange for you, knowing he may be about to die, knowing this may be your only chance to talk to him, tell him all about yourself, about the years since he died. I wouldn't if I were you. When he looks at you, all he sees is Lieutenant Sprint. I don't think he'd understand. Hey, Sprint. What, are you having one of your Bajani trances? See? Lieutenant Sprint, the console, please. If I were you, the captain definitely does not like to be kept waiting. You do know how to get to the core room, don't you, Sprint? Thank you, my good man. Sprint, we're waiting. I believe you're wanted in the computer core control room. Oh, mercy. <laughs> Why? Because I can. <laughs> I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint, I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? 
We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security systems as an extra precaution, but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security programs. And that's when we found this. It's obviously Borg, but how did it get on the ship, and what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? Nah, that won't do much of anything. Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? 